So you have a chalkboard wall, but you feel like you're not taking full advantage of it. Here are a few tips that will have you drawing, writing, and decorating your wall beautifully in no time. First, choose an image. This can be an image from your computer or a drawing of your own. I'm gonna use this drawing that I made. If you drew in pencil like I did, make the outline stand out by going over it with a marker. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take a picture of what you just did so that you can import it into Photoshop. Under Adjustments, select Invert so that the paper looks black and the ink looks white. I'm going to add an image from the web since I want my world to look as realistic as possible. This one looks just about perfect. Import it into Photoshop and paste it into your original drawing as a new layer. Under Blending Options, select Lighten so that you can still see the letters underneath without losing any detail. Now you're going to connect your computer to a projector. Unless you have the space to project from 30 feet away, you're going to want to maximize the width of your computer. Do this by chopping your image in two horizontally so that you have a top half and a bottom half. Here I start by projecting my bottom half. My boyfriend had the brilliant idea of using a string to make the circle flawless. Such a genius. So yes, take advantage of tools to help you draw with confidence. Next, start outlining the edges. You'll notice my projection cuts off on the left side. That's because I had to place the projector on the floor next to the kitchen island to get it to the right size. So I had to draw California and Mexico, my favorite places, with no guide. <laughs> hey, a little freehand never hurt. After you outline, start filling in. Time to project the top half of my image onto the wall. Make sure everything is in the right place. Sometimes I do this by propping the projector with several magazines. It takes a little finessing, but it's worth it. As you can see, the Sharpie looks pretty thick and messy, but you can choose which part you want to follow. It's obviously pretty imperfect, but you can improve as you go along. See how I fixed the word your to make the whole thing fit together better? Choose a style to fill in each word. Play around with gradients and shadows, it makes it so fun. If you want to just smear the chalk, use a non-absorbent paper towel. If you mess up, just erase with a damp cloth. And remember, nothing's set in stone. Perfect, play, and experiment as you go.